like that child my life was golden moving in these streets without being moving in these streets without being noticed man y'all already know my vibe man like the video subscribe to the channel check out the links in the description add me on instagram follow my spotify i support back so if you got anything popping you drop your links in the comment section and i'm gonna definitely check them out man i hope everybody's doing well right now during these difficult times out here in united states of america and cross seas different country whoever runs into this video man may the lord continue blessing you and protecting you and your family But yeah today I just want to talk about some gossip This is going all the way back to the fucking Super Bowl With Usher and fucking Alicia Keys A lot of people in the uproar all on the internet about this shit man Swiss already know this was going to happen Don't you know y'all stupid motherfuckers They rehearsed this shit man I just don't get it B. People always trying to make a fucking stink about something Especially the black community man Trying to put blacks against black This shit sucks B all that shit was rehearsed before the Super Bowl even fucking started. The shit was rehearsed. So Swiss knew all of this was going down. Y'all niggas just fucking hating. It's sad, B. The black culture lost. The black culture is so fucking lost, people, B. This shit is sad, man. Y'all out there trying to fuck up him and Usher relationship. And Gleesha Keys and Usher relationship with this bullshit, B. It's entertainment, folks, man. It's entertainment, people. Y'all don't understand that shit? This shit was rehearsed. Like, when they have concerts, they rehearse. They rehearse. I just don't get it, man, when it comes to the black culture, man. We got it all fucked up and twisted. Everybody making all these memes with Swiss beats. Come on, like, let's be real, man. We got to be uplifting our people, man. We can't be trying to tear our people down, man. This shit is fucking Speed sad. Speed trap reported ahead. Fucking Black culture suck bad, B. That's why we fucking last at every fucking thing. And all we worry about is fucking fashion, fashion and material things that a black person think they made it in life when they got Balenciaga, Dior's, and all this stupid shit on. And the Mercedes Benz and the BMW, they think they really made it. They happy, they satisfied. And that's when they journey stopped right there while the white man is planning for like four, four generations down, B, to leave his kids wealth. Wealth so his kids can leave their kids wealth. Meanwhile, you niggas is leaving motherfucking your kids fucking Section 8 apartment that's $300. Y'all leaving your kids fucking food stamps. Government assistance. That's what y'all leaving your kids, black culture be. Fuck out of here. Shit, I'm tired of this shit, man. It's a lot of shit going on out here. You got these fucking migrants too, people. These motherfuckers getting locked up, getting out the next day. They doing all type of shit, beating up cops, stealing from department stores. And they getting out the next day. They making the news in the newspaper and they getting out the next day. Meanwhile, we got people from our culture in fucking jail and can't even get out with bullshit charges. This shit is fucking sad out here, my people, man. This shit is sad, people, B. I swear, man. I'm glad I'm not like y'all motherfuckers out there, B. I'm glad I'm different. I'm a different breed, B. I'm cut from a different cloth, B. I ain't trying to be like y'all motherfuckers. It's so sad, B. And they bring the ice spices and all these people into your vision so they could dumb your daughters and shit down they bring the drill artists into your visions the k flocks and all these shit so they could dumb your son down and keep us suppressed and depressed man y'all don't get this shit people man this shit is all a game against the black culture man the black culture would never win we've been suffering from centuries b and shit still hasn't changed and it's not going to change even for the generation that's coming after us this shit is not going to change, B. Shit is not going to change. Black folks, man. Y'all got to get y'all shit together. Y'all got to start educating your kids better, B. A lot of kids leave their house. The parents don't even know what their kids is into. Kids out here acting stupid. Shit sad out here, man. This shit is real sad, man. I'm glad I was raised right, man. And I was taught right from wrong. And mo majority of my rights and wrongs that I was taught, I taught myself. Learning from other people's mistakes. Like the drug dealers and shit I used to see coming up in Harlem that used to give me money and all that shit. These big time drug dealers that they do biographies, biographies for on YouTube and do all these documentaries. Yeah, them niggas, man. Them type of niggas, the, the AZs, the Rich Porters, the Outpost, the fucking Preachers, them type of niggas, the Kevin Childs, them type of people. You know what I mean? Stay in school, you know what I mean? Gave me a couple of dollars, you know what I mean? 
this generation right here, they give you a man, a, they give you a, the youngins a gun or feed them some fucking false information. They go out there doing stupid shit, thinking that shit cool because the rappers is talking about it. Shit is sad. It's like future bum ass. That nigga don't drink no fucking lean, but he got you dumb motherfuckers out here drinking lean. Because y'all so much of fucking followers. Nobody leaders out here no more. Nobody is free thinkers. Nobody can't think no more, people. Nobody, especially my culture, man. Y'all got it fucking bad, B. But I'm glad I got my shit in, in order in time, B. I ain't got it bad, B. And by the grace of God, I can do what the fuck I want to do when I want to do it. And I ain't got no hate in my heart for nobody. I don't care what they driving, who they fucking, how they living, what they wearing. None of that shit, B. A lot of these niggas y'all see with all this material shit, they ain't even fucking happy. Let's be honest, people. These little young kids out here, they think making it is being in the hood with a $2,000 outfit on. This shit is sad, B, and some clout. Validation and clout, B. Hell of a fucking drugs, people. This shit is fucking sad, people. I hope my black culture wake up, man. If that shit is centuries down the line, I hope one day they wake up. And I hope the kids wake up, man, and see that this shit that they doing out here, man, is to suppress your dumb ass so your ass can't think straight and won't go no fucking where in life. They don't want the black culture to go nowhere in life because they know the black man is God and they know the black female is queen, B. You know what I mean? They know we are very talented and very smart, so they dumb us down with this bullshit they put in front of your face and put in your fucking ears, B, to keep your ass suppressed and depressed. And keep your ass doing negative shit, people, man. This shit's sad out here, my people. I love my culture, man. I want my culture to win. I want the kids to win. But a lot of you parents out here, y'all parents is not being a parent. Y'all parent is being fucking friends. Be a fucking parent. Or oh, some of you parents is fucking young. So I understand you can't teach nobody if you ain't fucking been taught shit. Kids having fucking kids, B. Shit is sad out here, man. Thank God for my moms, B. Appreciate you, mother. Man, word, I appreciate you, man. Always used to get in my ass no homo when I did wrong, B. And used to tell me, man, get your shit together. Stop doing this. And them words be echoing through my brain, B. That's why I'm able to do what I want to do when I want to do it now, B. And I'm happy. I'm satisfied with life, B. I ain't mad at nobody. Trust me. Never be mad at nobody. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about no entertainer, no celebrity, none of that shit, B. I could do what I want to do when I want to do it. I might not have any resources of money and none of that. But let me get some celebrity resources and money, B. I'm going to show these niggas how to develop in the hood, B. A lot of these niggas ain't developing shit in the hood. These niggas is... I be building fucking schools, libraries to te educate my kids, man. So we can start owning this shit in the fucking hood, B. We waiting for these motherfuckers to build for us and give us shit. Meanwhile, you got all these celebrities with all this fucking money. They could do what they want to do with that money, though, but you know what I mean? That's their fucking money. They earned that shit. But if you for the culture, look out for the culture. Help the culture, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these kids out here fucking dumb, man, retarded. And I hate to say that shit. I hate down in my black culture. I hate that shit, B. But sometimes you got to down, you dumb motherfuckers, B. Shit is fucking sad out here. The kids is fucking lost, B. Fucking lost, man. Y'all following these fucking entertainers. And they got these little girls out here. They out here freaking off, sucking dick everywhere, getting fucked everywhere, anywhere. If a nigga bring you to dirty-ass fucking fitting rooms, I understand you might be trying to experiment. Bringing you to dirty-ass fitting rooms and fucking you in dirty-ass exit and places of that nature. This nigga don't love you. You a fucking jump off. You a booty call. And after he fuck you, he gonna tell everybody, all his friends, he fucked you. And his friends gonna come try to fuck you next. Protect your daughters, B. If you got a daughter out there, she young, protect her, B. Especially if she hot in the fucking tail. Because a lot of these little kids out here is hot in the fucking tail. They think they Ice Spice. They think they Corey. They think they Gorilla Go. Lotto. He's, you ain't shit. Take off them eyebrows. Take off that fake ass baby hair. Take out that weave. You bitches look average, B. And I hate to talk about my queens, B. You bitches look average, B. That's why I don't even look at the black woman no more, B. I'm looking at the other nationalities. The other nationalities got it better than you bitches, B. Fuck, I want to be sitting there waiting for you. You got about three or four kids. You got problems with your fucking baby daddy. 
You asking a nigga for money because your ass is on government's assistance. You fucking lazy. You worrying about being the next motherfucking lotto. And Beyonce and all these people got y'all motherfuckers fucked up. And Beyonce, let's talk about Beyonce and Jay-Z right now, B. A lot of shit is coming out to light right now, B. They said Beyonce is on drugs. Jay-Z is keeping Beyonce hostage, B. And it seems like that's true. And it's starting to come out to the light, man. After Diddy got his shit, Jay-Z don't even want to be a part of Diddy no more. The Grammys, they had the Rock Nation brunch. They didn't even have that shit this year. What's up with Mr. Love and Mr. Carter? Remember Diddy said Jay-Z the only one that could call him Puffy and all this other shit, B? Because they fucking, B. Y'all idolize these celebrities so much. These celebrities don't give a fuck about you, me, nobody. Some of these motherfuckers don't even give a fuck about they self or their family because they selling out they self for money, for wealth, B. So you think they give a fuck about you? All they give a fuck about is your support, your money, so they can keep living wealthy and living that luxurious lifestyle. That's the only thing they give a fuck about. To name one celebrity that did anything for fans. Name one celebrity. I wait. Did they give out free motherfucking shows? These niggas need to get paid. Their lifestyle is high, expensive. These celebrities ain't worrying about you. Their lifestyle is expensive, B. Expensive. You can imagine when a celebrity been making all this much money. Now he ain't making that much money. He fucking depressed, B. Because he have a, he, he bought himself into a lifestyle of buying outfits of four or $5,000. I don't need no outfits for $5,000. I'll be dressing regular and still look better than nigga Balenciaga and Dior and all that shit and have a pocket full of money while these niggas in Balenciaga and Dior and all this baggage and purple shit got on the outfit looking like they got money and ain't got shit in their pocket. Nothing. This shit crazy out here, my people. If my black culture don't wake up, B, we're going to be forever lost. And that's even after we die, we're going to be forever lost, B. All these people that fought for our rights, and for us to be able to do what we doing now and people not taking advantage of this shit, people so fucking lazy depending on the government and shit like that to take care. I don't want shit from the government. The government said I made too much money. I try, I even tried just to try. My homies in the media said, you're not getting that shit, bro. You got two incomes coming in, bro. You're not getting that, B. I said, it don't hurt to try. Niggas deny me, man. They want you to be poor. They want you to fucking be poor depending on them. And that's not going to happen with me, man, because I need to do what I want to do when I want to do. And I don't need to wait till the first and the 15th of the month for a fucking check to come into my account. Hell no, B. And God bless y'all. I'm not putting nobody down that's in that situation because everybody fortunate is not in a situation to be able to do for themselves like they want to do. You know what I mean? I'm not even in a proper situation, but I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. And I make sure I maintain myself and, and prosper, you know what I mean? But yeah, my people, we gotta stop looking up these celebrities. Jay Z, Beyonce, all these niggas is wicked, B. Y'all be sucking Jay Z dick like he God. That nigga ain't shit. Y'all be sucking Beyonce pussy like she a fucking God or son. She ain't shit, B. Ain't nothing but fucking devils, B. Look how they left all they fucking crew. I hope Solange exposed this shit, B. I hope these tapes come out, man. These tapes gonna come out soon. Jaguar, right? A lot of y'all niggas was saying this bitch was crazy. And a lot of shit that she was saying is coming to light now. So y'all go suck Jaguar white pussy right now, man. And apologize and say, I'm sorry, Jaguar. We just misunderstood you. We thought you was lying and bitter. She ain't lying and bitter. Y'all think everybody that's telling the truth is lying and bitter because they ain't got fortune and fame and it's like that. It's just sad. That fortune and fame came with a price for Diddy, Jay-Z, and all these niggas. They sold out. Remember Jay-Z had all of everybody in the Madison Square Garden, all these people throwing the rock up? He had y'all motherfuckers throwing the Illuminati sign out. It's the rock. Sad, B. It's so fucking sad. He left Benny Siegel, all these niggas behind. I don't even think he even talked to these niggas no more. That's how bad Sean Carter is, B. And I have mad respect for Jay-Z because I remember when I was a little nigga, I ain't even supposed to be in the country club on 86th Street between 2nd and 3rd. They had the country club. Maria Davis had Mad Wednesdays, and Jay-Z used to perform like crazy. And then every other Wednesday in that joint on the come up. Reason Who Dot was just about to fucking drop, and he was in there performing his tracks. That shit used to be ill. I even rubbed elbows with Jay-Z. You know what I mean? He was right. I was on side of the stage. He on side of the stage. Man, my life, man. I thank God for my life, man. I've been around a lot of shit, man, since I was 13 years old. But I never went in the direction that the shit that I was around. You know what I mean? Y'all get it? I've been around all these killers, drug dealers, murderers. And they always told me, don't be like us. Stay in school. 
and get paid for good grades, man. And I praise them niggas, man. I praise them. Even to my to this day, my cousin, he just came home from doing 25. He been March 6th to make a whole year he been home. And he used to have me in a club with Supreme, fucking Mike Tyson, Demencio, Big D, a lot of niggas, Kool-Aid. Like, I knew a lot of people. I was from Harlem, but I knew a lot of people from Brooklyn. My cousin was in Brooklyn, Flatbush. Shout out Big Just. He was down with fucking Junior Mafia and them beat. I've been around a lot of people when I was fucking little, man. And I'm glad I didn't join them people, B. A lot of them people, man, I know they regret a lot of shit they did, man. Because a lot of them people, man, they had so many opportunities to be rich. They never thought that shit had just come down. When people on the top, they never think that shit would make a nosedive and go down a little. That's why you got to save for rainy days, B. I even learned that shit myself the hard way. You know what I mean? I've been down and out before. Trust me, I've been down and out, man. I've been down and out before, man. But I always try to bounce back, and I always bounce back on a positive note, man. But my people, we got to wake up. We got to stop following these celebrities. We got to stop supporting these people. If they don't support us, we got to stop supporting them, B. All these people got all of this money, understand? And then one day they're going to say, yo, somebody commented, why these people don't build libraries and resources for the kids in the neighborhoods and school? They said that's what taxes is for. My niggas, y'all don't even know taxes is like a pyramid scheme, man. This shit is sad out here, man. Because if I get millions of dollars, be I'm going to go to my neighborhood. If I can buy some property, I'm going to build something for the youth to educate the youth to keep their time occupied, people. The government don't want the kids' time occupied. That's why in New York City right now, it's like a fucking war zone. Migrants coming, they kicking the police, they robbing, they stealing, and they getting out the next day. Meanwhile, if I get locked up today, niggas gonna be like, oh, remand. Niggas probably don't even give me bail. Don't even let me out on the ROR. Shit's sad, man. My people, if y'all don't wake up, man, stop fucking playing and wasting time and protect your kids and teach your kids because these kids is fucking lost out here. And I mean all nationalities of kids, not just my kind, B. Ain't no fathers or mothers. Somebody, We need fathers and mothers in the household together going forward, man. 2024, 2025, Please stay together. If you having a baby by somebody, y'all stay together. Y'all raise that fucking child the right way, man. Let that child know that she or he is loved, man. Because both parents will be in the household, my people. A kid is more loved when both parents is in the household. Because the father could teach the kid how to protect themselves, you know what I mean? Right from wrong. The mother could teach the kids how to protect themselves right from wrong. You know what I mean? It's a combined effort, people. A lot of these kids is growing up with no fathers in the household. You got some single dad parents out here. You got some dads that's raising their kids, and I salute them. But a lot of these kids out here is being taught the wrong shit because when we die, what is your child going to do? Your child ain't got no education to fall up on. You ain't teach them shit about how to play Roblox and give them a phone to play all these fucking games. Now the, the cell phones got the kids distracted. The kids don't even want to fucking learn no more, people. Shit crazy out here, man. Protect yourself, protect your energy, and protect your family, my people, man. Time is ticking on the black culture, for real, man. Time is fucking ticking, man. And that fucking tick about to go boom! And the black culture about to be fucked up for life, even though we already fucked up. I'm out of here, 100. Yeah. You know what it is, man. Moving in these streets without being noticed, man. You already know the motherfucking vibes, B. Harlem. Let's get it. The streets raised me since I was a baby. Little nigga. Money it made the Nero. Me. Rock star the baby. The man. About to go crazy. Rock the nation Jay-Z. Brooklyn Nets KK. Irvin, A Boogie Swerving. Uh. Paper tags on that brand new jet. They like uh, uh, how you do I that. Do Bitch, me. I done blew a bag and I can prove that. Yeah, so. Moving in these streets without your notice is the new jet. It's the new you rap. So join me on this journey, hip hop, state of emergency. Say the wrong shit, and your rap shit might get murdered. Wow. Doc got you on that table trying to save your surgery. Oh Lord, that's worth it. You never heard of me. <laughs> BMF meets OG of the drill real shit. Talk. Listen up, hold on, let me tell you real Listen quick. Up. I'm from Harlem, hometown. I'm talking money, money. Don't know I'm talking rich. Now that's fucked.